Man, what's going on, good people? Getting out here, getting ready to go get this workout in. Getting ready to work it out. And get my physical fitness on. And, and, you know, it's, we woke up this morning and my phone was had all types of alerts. Yeah, I've always had great hair. I know it's like I have to pick it. So, we're on our grind right now on our way. Did you see somebody just there? So. No. Ooh, it's a little nipply. So, they looked on our app or my phone. I'm seeing all types of it's the storm of the century. Schools, schools shutting down activities already. Keep in mind, this is the day. Ain't a snowflake in sight. Ain't snow on, no snow on the ground. They said snow is supposed to start in 63 minutes. So they say. So we're gonna see when we come out the gym with the snow. <laughs> it's supposed to be a snow nami. That's what they're talking about. What it's, they say six to eight inches of snow. From today on until tomorrow. So this is good old Minnesota before the, the pre-snow hit. And we just got rid of the snow we had. There's like no snow out here. No snow at all out here. Yesterday was 40 degrees. Folks was walking around here with shorts on. Not today. Not today. So we are gonna see what happens. I truly believe that it's a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> I never believe the weather people. They're always wrong and they suck. When they do their jobs. My weather app is pretty accurate, I must say. She says her weather app is accurate, but I say. I watch the news. The news is never right. Like the meteorologists, they I don't, always are off. I don't know how you can go to work and get paid for being wrong all the time. It's crazy. It seems like the app, I don't know if that comes from the weather station or wherever, but yeah. So, we'll see. It's gym time, people. I gotta wait for my wife to get done doing what she's doing. But other than that, it's gym time. It's ready. It's... We're about to get it in. All the way in. <laughs> so, stay tuned. I'm training. I'm doing the training myself. I used to be an athlete. World class app. <laughs> you could lie. But anyway, I used to look pretty good, good back in the day. So I'll take on the challenge of uh, getting this right and tight. This is your boy starting out doing some stair masters, getting the legs right and tight. Walking up the old stairs. This is a pretty cool machine. It's weird. But, you wanna do that one thing that girl was doing? Squats, stair squats. I just got done doing some stair masters. And, whew. <laughs> Your boy ain't ready. So, I gotta stay at this. It's gonna be a long 60 days, I can tell. Right now, 60 days of pure working out. Not in a row, though. But uh, 60 days of just working out. I'm gonna try to stay consistent at least two or three times a week and uh, try to drop this weight. I'm not playing out here. Trying to bring sexy back. Right now we're gonna go downstairs and start uh, the real workout. That was a nice get the blood circulating kind of thing right there. I'm working on my abs and my chest and my arms. That's what I'll be working on. I'm working out with the wife too. It was up. Uh, so that's my workout partner. Try to motivate each other and bring sexy back.
It's all 50. Which one we put it all? No, I don't know. Here, let me see how it's supposed to work. Maybe I just need to get my man up. This is the abdominal crunch. 50 pounds here. I ain't doing 50. Game. There, there are stalls in there. That's why I'm just, Here we go. I, just get changed at home. Yep. I said I got a shower at the crib. I'm right up there. I'm just commenting on a, how folks just have no shame in the locker rooms. Be butthole, butthole naked. This lady literally took her drawers off, wall, everything. Like, I don't want to see all that when I work out. And I definitely don't want to see a man, a grown man, bending over with his cheeks in my face. I'm good. <laughs> I don't live that type of lifestyle. <laughs> that interests me none. So, uh, even when I I worked out during school hours, when like when I was going to school, nope, not doing it. So that's just that's one of the turn off some gyms that I, you know, some people just don't have any common courtesy to somebody's eyesight. And locker rooms. My buddy got in an altercation with the guy because they were changing in the locker room and he decided to get bucket ball naked and then like <laughs> my guy was like bending over putting his shoes on and the guy just bent over and had his booty all in his face and <laughs> he was like do you mind? <laughs> do you mind? You <laughs> He's like what this is a locker room yeah but your booty don't go on my face. I know it's a locker room and, and stuff like that, but you got to have some kind of respect, man. And then nowadays with people supposed to be uh, comfortable with their sexuality and things like that, uh, you're happy yeah, that you leaves your in my face. And that's and that's that's the whole thing. You just that's the whole thing. <laughs> That's just, it's a cardinal sin. So, whether whether you swing that way or not, I still don't want to see. <laughs> Look. I, I like women. I like it. I like women. But not every woman I like and not every woman I want to see. So, <laughs> don't. I don't want to see what I saw in the women's locker room. It was all the older women, too. They just. It's the young and terrible, not the young and fit. <laughs> So, just if you're a worker, if you're working out, just just caution, you know, caution of that. Be 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 kind to people, because <laughs> that's disrespectful. <laughs> people, I like the fact that when I do decide to work out, and the gym is directly like right across the street from my house, so there's really no. There's really no excuse for me. There's always been that excuse for me. Like, oh, I got to get in my car and drive. But if I get in my dr my car to drive, it's two minutes. And if I walk, it's maybe. And it's the only reason why it's two minutes is because of lights and cars. But. It's only a five minute walk. It ain't really ain't yep, a little five minute walk right across the street. So. This is. 
really gonna be convenient in the summertime. It's my 60 day challenge, gotta get it in. I gotta start looking right, looking healthy. So, yeah. Now I'm getting ready to eat some of my pre-meal food. This is, all this was is a turkey leg sat in a slow cooker and some vegetables of my liking which is onions bell peppers uh carrots so just all slow no salt i didn't put any salt i put a little butter in our little garlic butter and we're just gonna let that seat sit and uh, let that sit overnight i stripped the meat off the bone because it was it was already done like that so and uh, some garlic there and uh, now we're gonna I'm gonna have this my pre-workout meal done finito and then we're gonna hit it with this right here to uh, hopefully uh, knock out that muscle fatigue 